What's up, Philly Phil gang? How y'all doing? All right, I'm back. Woo! And tonight, yes, we are having homemade, semi-homemade baked lasagna with some garlic knots. And I thought about corn, but I'm going to go with my string beans that I love, well, Italian green beans that I love so much. Then we're going to have a little side salad. Got the salad mix, cucumber, and a tomato in it. All right, we have our crushed red gold tomatoes that I'll be using to make my meat sauce for the lasagna. The cheese is in the fridge. We're gonna use no uh, use no boil lasagna. I've used this before, I like it. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it. And we're gonna make a cottage cheese mix. Gonna mix this with eggs to layer in the lasagna. Okay, let me get everything prepped. Cut up my um, onion and bell pepper and garlic to go into the meat. Get those sauteed and I'll bring you guys back when we get ready to put the meat on, all right? All right, guys, so I have my onion, bell pepper, and my garlic chopped up. Here's my ground beef that we're going to use. Gonna get ready to get that in the, um, well, let the veggies start sauteing first. Then I'll add the meat. Once these have uh, sauteed a little bit, I have my green beans going right here. So for the sauce, as you know, I'm gonna use uh, the crushed tomatoes and a little tomato paste as well. I'm gonna use some red pepper flakes, basil, parsley, black pepper, oregano, tonies, onion powder, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning, and some Goya. And then I'll add just a little bit of uh, sugar to it because tomatoes are bitter. And some people put red wine vinegar in their sauce. It's however you wanna make your sauce, you can do it. Whatever seasons you want, you can do that as well, okay? This is how I make mine. Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, I put a little butter in the pan and I have the uh, bell peppers and onions. Just gonna let these saute, then I'll add the garlic and start adding the meat and seasoning up the meat, okay? So let's let these uh, saute for a minute and I will bring you guys back in a minute, all right? All right, I've added all of the meat as well as the garlic and probably going to be more than enough sauce, but I can always just store it and use it for spaghetti or something else. Okay, let's start adding seasonings. I'm gonna start with my packet of Saison that I told you guys about. So, now we're gonna go with some onion powder. I'm gonna season this up good. You want your lasagna sauce to have flavor. Garlic powder. We haven't had added anything really with salt to it yet. But lots of onion and garlic. Italian seasoning. Got to have some Italian seasoning in the gum. I mean in the gumbo. In the lasagna. Oregano. And just eyeball it, you know, about a teaspoon and a half, tablespoon, it depends on what your taste buds can handle. Some parsley, you may not like oregano and all that. Some basil. Well, this is going to be some seasoned sauce, okay? Black pepper. Got to have the black pepper in there. And here comes the Tony's. Okay. About a tablespoon and a half. And pepper flakes. I want my lasagna to have a little kick to it. Yes. But you don't have to add that now. You don't, some people don't like spicy. Everyone that's ordered my sauce so far have only wanted the mouth, and that's quite all right. Not for everyone. Now we're going to let this meat cook. Let it cook until it's, you know, pretty much done. We'll drain it. Then we'll add our, start making our sauce, add our crushed tomatoes and everything and let the sauce 
and the meat cook together. And some people may do it a different way, but this has always worked for me. Pretty much the way I make my spaghetti sauce as well. Let me turn that back up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna let this meat cook down and render down and I will bring you guys back, okay? Just gonna let this meat continue to cook. I got, have my electric oven on seven. Okay, I'll bring you back. Guys, I forgot, I'm going to add a little soul food seasoning salt as well, okay? Just the dab. Not much, okay? Forgot about that. But as you can see, it's, can okay, you guys see it? How's the lighting? It's cooking right along there. Give y'all some more light. All right. I'm going to drain all of this fat grease off of here. When we come back, we're going to start actually turning it into our sauce, okay? Okay, guys, I'm back. I've drained it. Let's go ahead and pour in one can of the tomatoes. I'm sure we're going to need two because I did cook a lot of meat. And this is the same way I make the meat for the empanadas, but I would also be adding that cumin, which gives it that distinct flavor. Okay. Now let me get the other can of tomatoes, cut that up a little bit more. Add some more of the tomatoes. Let's see what we're looking like here. I'm gonna add a little tomato paste. About a spoonful. Get that down in there. We'll add more if need be. Okay. We don't want it too runny, you know. But we do want it to have some juice in it because we want our lasagna to be nice and juicy and delicious, okay? We're gonna let this start cooking up a little bit and we'll taste the meat and see what we're needing. Let this add a little bit more water to it. Let this meat start simmering down. We add a little sugar to it, about a teaspoon of sugar. That's all, not much. You don't want sweet lasagna, but you know some places their lasagna have a little sweetness to it. But you know, they you wanna cut the bitterness of the tomatoes, but you don't wanna just turn it into a sweet lasagna, at least I don't. We'll go ahead and get this oven to warming up to 350. Put a little bit more tomato paste in here, another spoonful. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let this start boiling and then I'm gonna bring you guys back, all right? You know what I didn't add, guys? We forgot to add paprika. Let me do that while you're here. We have to add some paprika. Paprika just really gives it a little color. Okay, and paprika. Now we're gonna let this simmer down. Look at that, it's gonna be a nice, Yeah, see that? Okay, that looks really good. Look at that meat. All those colors and flavors in there. All right, I'll bring you guys back, all right? Okay, here it is. We're gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna bring you guys back. We're gonna go ahead and mix up our cottage cheese mix while we let the meat simmer for a little bit, okay? But this looks really good. All right, I'll bring you back, guys. See that sauce? That looks really good. Okay, let's make our cottage cheese mixture. Okay, guys, I'm back. Let's make our cottage. This is one 24-ounce bottle of cottage cheese uh, mixture or cottage cheese. You can use whatever brand you want, okay? Pour that in the bowl. eggs, okay, oh, I already 
already have my lasagna pan buttered, I'm ready to go. Add a little black pepper. And a little Italian seasoning. Season this cottage cheese up a little bit. About a teaspoon. A little oregano. Okay. And of course some parsley. And it's not open. All right, let's open this up. Okay, pour a little parsley in there. You want the cottage cheese to have some color to it as well, okay? And now you just want to stir this up. I like cottage cheese. I like to eat it for breakfast sometimes with boiled eggs. That's a good, healthy breakfast and it's good. Fills you up too. Cottage cheese really doesn't have a flavor. I mean, I just like it. I know a lot of people may not like it. So you definitely do not have to use this if you don't want to, okay? You just stir it up, see? Stir that up. Add a little bit more pepper to it. Okay. So the sauce is ready. I'm gonna get the cheese together. When I come back, we'll start layering our lasagna. Get it in the oven, then we'll make up the salad. The green beans are done. And all we'll have to do is bake the garlic knots. Okay, I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, let's get started. Here's the meat. Got that nice lasagna sauce. It's looking good. Okay, let's open up what we're gonna do. And I have two packets, you never know how many you're gonna need. So these are the no boil lasagnas. I'm gonna layer it in the pan, and I know you guys really can't see that, but you're just layering your pan with the noodles, okay? And then what you wanna do, this way, gonna have to break it a little bit so it'll be covered, okay. And now here is the cottage cheese mixture. Now what I'm going to do is just layer this on the lasagna noodles. And this, again, is only if you want to put cottage cheese on there, you don't have to, okay? So it's gonna be cottage cheese mixture, Meat sauce, cheese. Cottage cheese mixture, meat sauce, and cheese. Until you have your pan full, okay? Okay, now I have that there. Got the noodles all in place. Okay, now I'm going to put the sauce down. Get it all around the edges of the noodles. I wish you guys could see this, but I'll show you here in a minute. One day I'll have better equipment and you'll be able to have angles everywhere, all over Philly Phil's kitchen. Someone told me I needed a GoPro. I had never heard of that. One of my brother's friends, he actually said he's gonna get me one, so we'll see. Manny, I'm waiting on it. <laughs> we will see. Okay, now we're going to I'm gonna start out with some Mexican. And you can use whatever type of cheese you want, but you definitely want some mozzarella, okay? Oh, this looks so good, y'all. I should've opened this cheese before I, okay. Sometimes I put the cheese all in a bowl, but I'm just gonna leave it in the bags because I don't know how much I'm gonna need. And I bought several bags, so you wanna put cheese all over because you want your lasagna to be cheesy, okay? Cheesy and meaty. See, how about mild cheddar, mozzarella. Some more mild cheddar and mo more mozzarella. Okay. Now we need more noodles. Remember what I'm doing. Okay. 
No bake noodles. I love these. You're definitely gonna need for a pan like this, two packages. Okay. Now we're going to cut a little bit of the edge off that one so it'll fit at the end. Then we'll go in with some more of our cottage cheese mixture. And this melts and bakes into the lasagna. You won't even know it. They'll think it's cheese. If you have children, they won't know. But again, you don't have to use it, okay? Oh, this looks good. All right, meat sauce. Get it all around there. I sure wish you guys could see how it's looking as I layer it, but we'll get there. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Definitely want a lot of meat in here, okay? All right, now we're going to go with some, I'm gonna use some mouth cheddar. I'm gonna use a little mild cheddar and mozzarella, okay? You can mix your cheeses up as you layer it. You don't have to use the same kind. But you definitely want it to be cheesy all throughout, okay? Oh, yes. Can I tell you this is looking good? Okay. Some more noodles. One, two, three. So it's taking four. I need the other box now. Yep, you definitely need to. This is a pretty big pan. You may not want to use a pan this large. This lasagna will go a long way. Okay, put that one there. Yep. Break a little bit off so it'll fit down up in there. There you go. All right. Yes, this is a three, four stack lasagna, okay? Cottage cheese mixture. Okay, just keep it going here. I probably should have set the camera up down here so you can see it, but I wanted you guys to have this view so you can see everything, okay? sauce. Oh, this is looking good. Y'all, and this meat sauce is delish. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Use the rest of this mozzarella on it. Spread that out. And we'll use the rest of this Mexican. Pour it in there and just spread it out. Now we'll go for some more mild cheddar. Get that all over. Actually, we'll put the rest of that on there. We want each layer to have enough cheese in it, okay? You definitely want that. That's why you have your gloves on. You can grab all that cheese out of there, spread it around. Oh, yeah looking good. All right, some more noodles. Two, three. I think this is going to be the last layer. Okay. Okay, let me break this off just a little bit. Okay. There you go. Got it in there. All right. Cottage cheese mixture. This is so good. Let me tell you. Get it all over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the last layer right here, so. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. 
now we're gonna go in with the meat sauce. It's gonna be good, y'all. It's taking pretty much all of this meat sauce. It's filling this up. I think I've got just enough meat sauce because we definitely want it to be meaty. All the way around and all down up in there. Gonna use all that meat sauce. That was just enough. A nice meaty lasagna. Okay. Now we are going to top it with some cheese. Gonna do some mozzarella. and some cheddar. Gonna mix it up. You know you want your lasagna to have white and yellow on top. Okay, get it all around the edges, okay? Come back with this rest of this, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you. It smells delicious, guys. A little bit more mozzarella. How about just enough cheese, too? Like I said, you want cheese. You want cheese all around your lasagna, you know? Get it around the edges. Get it in there, tuck it in nicely. So it can bake. Mm, mm, mm. This is a huge lasagna. This is a meal fit for kings and queens. Yes, indeed. Y'all are kings and queens. I'm fixing you a nice meal tonight. Yes, I am. Okay. Now we're going to top it with a little grated Parmesan, some paprika, okay, parsley of course, want it to be nice and green and pretty on top, you know, impress your guests, yes, they're going to think you ordered this from Philly Phil's Kitchen. <laughs> All right, I thought I had the black pepper out here, but we don't need any black pepper. Okay, guys, let me get the camera so I can show you what this looks like, okay? Okay, guys, here it is. Nice big pan of lasagna. Okay, guys, let's put together our quick, easy, simple salad. And I normally would like to have cheese on it, but I use all of the shredded cheese. It's my remote. In the um, lasagna, so. I don't need any cheese. It'll be okay without it. This is just a little small garden salad mix, okay? So you wanna go through here, some of this lettuce be in chunks. So just go through here and cut it up, okay? Cut that up real good. And I like ranch dressing. My kids, Ash and Rico, they love a thousand hours. I love ranch. Ranch it is for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see here. It's looking good. Guys, hopefully I'll get to go to Oklahoma soon. They have water burgers there. I love water burger. Um, my granddaughter Jaden, Rico's daughter, lives in Oklahoma. So I told her, I said, when I come, we're gonna do a show a mukbang and Whataburger. She said, okay. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, like a daddy, honey. Ooh, yes, indeed. Okay. Now I'm going to cut up my onion. Um, onion. I do want some purple onions in here, though. My tomato. Yeah. I'm going to have to get me some uh, purple onions. I still have some left. Okay, just cut your tomatoes up. As if you want tomatoes, 
You may not want tomatoes in your salad. Totally up to you. Okay. Just cut it up whatever little size you want. You don't want them too big, you know. I took the filling out for the most part. I didn't want all that stuff running all through my salad. Put that in there. I washed and peeled this um, cucumber here. Now we're just going to cut it up. I love cucumbers in my salad now. I love a good salad. You don't need no cheese in this salad. This is going to be good. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Normally I put eggs and everything in it, but we're not gonna do all that tonight. All we have to do now is let the lasagna bake and then bake our bread, which won't take but five to seven minutes. Let's get this removed. All right, I got the purple onion out the fridge. Let me go ahead and cut me up a little bit for the salad. Sprinkle that over your salad, and you've got yourself a nice looking salad. Look at that. Just don't have any cheese. I'm gonna add black pepper over it once I put my ranch dressing in there. All right, guys, I will bring you guys back, and hopefully, it'll be getting time to eat. All right, all right, guys, the lasagna is out of the oven. Let's get ready to cut us a nice piece and sit down and have us some dinner. Who's going to join me? Hey guys, I'm gonna try to let y'all see me get a piece out of here if I don't mess it up. Ooh, it's so cheesy. Oh my goodness. What's up, Philly Phil gang? Happy Monday to y'all. How are you doing? I hope you enjoyed the video tutorial. Now let's bless the food, okay? Bless this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. Amen. What's going on? Y'all hear that motorcycle out there? <laughs> What's up, guys? Okay, we have my version of homemade lasagna. It's so big and full. It, hey, it wouldn't stack right. It's, I think I overloaded it with meat and cheese. Have me some water and a salad. No, Sprite, I'm sorry. And some garlic knots. And then a little simple salad. So how are y'all doing on this Monday? I am having a wonderful evening. I had a great, awesome day. Hey, can't let anything get to you. You gotta keep on pushing. And that's just what I'm doing. Will not let anything get to me. How are y'all doing? Mm, mm, mm. It's, simple salad is so good. Mm. Guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the um, mukbang with the um, seafood. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, guys. Yes, the mukbang with the seafood with my daughter's mother-in-law. I had a ball having them over here. Son Austin made my beat. I'm working on getting everything together so I can have that new intro. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Y'all see it? Mm. Those no baked noodles cooked just fine. They're nice and tender. Mm. I got a big old plate here. Mm. So, today was Monday. I had a good day at work. Everything went well. Got off. I didn't take you guys shopping with me this time. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, this is good. I can't really even taste that cottage cheese. Do you all like cottage cheese? How do you make your lasagna? Mm. This is good. If you don't have a favorite recipe, try this one. I think you will like it. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, indeed. That's not a big piece. Then the garlic knots. 
I really don't need any bread, but I know it just makes it look better. And they are good. Mm, 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 mm. But this little simple salad of mine is very good. So what kind of dressing do you guys like? Like I told you, Ashley and Rico, my kids, they love Thousand Island. I love ranch. Mm, 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 mm. Good. Mm, I'm hungry. I had a grilled cheese sam <coughs> sandwich for lunch today. So I am hungry. Mm, 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 mm. So I hope you guys had a good weekend. I um everyone should have received their sauce today, and I shipped off some more sauce today as well. Well, I know Sent and Mo received their sauce, so I hope I get some feedback. I hope it's what you guys expected. Warm it up, let it simmer for about 20 or 30 minutes, <clears throat> and it'll be good to go. Mm. And good news, I think I have a way to ship the cakes now. I'm gonna work on with the post office, a flat rate, and I think they have the right box that I need, but I will have to charge $35 for the cakes, $10 on shipping. That's not covering all of it, but we should both be happy with that price. I looked up prices of pound cakes and people sell those things for 40 plus. So, I think I'll be able to send out some cakes. You know, anyone still wants them for $35, I'm going to go out there on the website and update the price. That will include the shipping. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's too big. But I wanted you guys to see what it looked like. It is really good. It's seasoned just right. Not too much spice. It's not spicy at all. I know I put those red pepper flakes, but not spicy. I didn't put that many. So guys, are you all gonna get out and vote tomorrow? Super Tuesday. Don't care who you're voting for, just get out and vote, okay? Exercise, you're right. It matters. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, look at that. A piece of green bean to go with it. Mm. A little piece of bread. Stop with some of that sauce. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, yeah, guys, I was so tired yesterday. Thank you all that joined me on the live last night. Wasn't on there long. I didn't feel like cooking any leftover seafood. Mm. I just wanted to say hi to you guys. And you guys did come by and say hi back. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let me know if you want me to go live with you guys tomorrow for lunch. You guys want to have lunch with me tomorrow? Drop me some comments. Let me know if you want to have lunch with me. I'll go to lunch around 1 o'clock. Central. Mm -hmm. So let me know. I'd like to have lunch with you all. Chit chat for a minute. Here, have a bite of salad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm eating that. Mm. 
I sure am. It's good. Mm. Look at that cheesy lasagna. Y'all must want it. It's falling off. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 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 Oh, I see some of the cottage cheese. Mmm. So these green beans, I cooked them the same way I did the other day. With a little bacon, seasoning, let them simmer down. And it's delicious. Mmm. 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 I'm not doing much talking. I was hungry, guys. Mm. And this isn't a hard dish to make, but it is a little time consuming. Sprite. I need some lemon with it. I like to put lemon in my Sprites and my Cokes. I love them that way. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Thank you guys so much, y'all. I need less than less than a hundred hours. I may have it after you guys watch this video. I'm sure I will. I know y'all gonna go ahead and do that for me. Mm-hmm. When I met the Puff Puff Gang, I needed over 2,500 hours or more. Look what y'all done helped us do. Look at y'all. Won't he do it? Look. Y'all just came through. I can't try to get a green bean. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all did that. Let me see what y'all was saying about the... um seafood bowl with my daughter's mother-in-law Carla and the grandkids call her Dita. Vicki Hughes. Hey Vicki. It's a good pot. Take it to a welder. Oh she's talking about my pot. Yeah y'all gave me some suggestions with the handle and they can weld it back on. She said my uncle used to weld stuff back together. It shouldn't cost no more than five dollars. Okay. Maybe not that much. I gotta find me a welder. He says one, two, three, and it's fixed. Because I love that pot. I mean, you can base forget it. it. has that strainer where you put it in there and your pasta, and you just lift it up. Mm-hmm. Sheila Thrower. Hey, Sheila. How are you? Thank y'all for leaving comments. The food looks good. I need to order me a cake. I'm in Little Rock. That's right. What's up, hungry? Well, you definitely need to order your cake, honey, bunny. Come on with it, sister girl. <laughs> B Sugar 100, keeping it 100 with me. That's right. Hey, Philly Phil, that seafood ball looks delicious. Girl, it was good. I'm happy about your new beat. Yes, your in-law was fun to watch. I must say I'm jealous about that Walt Six Flavor Cake. I know in time you'll get one. Yes, you're going to get one. I think the, the box is over there. I should have brought them over so you can see it. Y'all going to get one. Vicky left me another one. I've been sitting here wondering why she looked familiar to me. Yeah, you may have seen her in a commercial, honey. She does commercials. Yes, and then Austin is a music producer. Yes. April Lee, I'm jealous. That food looks amazingly delicious. Hey, friend, welcome to the family. Two beautiful queens, okay? Cheryl Foster, this is a great seafood bar. Everything looks delicious. Beloved is actually looking for someone to redo her intro. I wish he could get that. Oh, my goodness, that would be so nice. You never know. Michelle Means. I love this video. You two had great chemistry. I wish I could eat shellfish. Okay, she's allergic, but it looks very good. Well, thank you for watching because sometimes if people don't eat something, they won't even watch it. Thank you. Annie Gray. What's up, Annie? Hey, Philly Phil. My husband swore by a product called JB Weld. You can find it at AutoZone, Walmart in the, depart home, uh, the, department of, or the automotive department of Home Depot. Okay. Thank y'all for the tips on my pot. Pasty Hines, I got no kids. I would love to move up that way, be living in, be a living nanny doing a mukbang channel. <laughs> Come on, girl. Helen, Helen, what's up, Helen? I got a cousin named Joe Helen in Beaumont, Texas. 
This has been so enjoyable to watch. Everything looks so tasty. You did very well, my friend. Thank you. Yes, you made me get the munches, puff puff gang. Keep up the good cooking. I'll be ordering soon. <laughs> I love y'all. I love the Puff Puff Gang as much as I love Philly Field Game Boy. Y'all done did that. She Radius. That's my girl. What's up, Boo Boo Kitty? Hey, Philly. Everything looks delicious. I love a good seafood boy. Keep on cooking with the vlogs. The Puff Puff Gang. She put the puff signals in there. I can't find those in my little emojis. <laughs> Diane Saunders. Hey, Philly Field. That boy looks amazing. Okay, it was a good collab. E. Whitlock. I love when you vlog. Can you vlog more? I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do it. Celestine Moore. Hello. Have you thought about making a Philly Field Spice or Seasoning Mix? You know, you never know. I would like to do that. And Mama Sita Philly Field, the seafood boy was amazing and looked so delicious. Thanks for the vlog and seafood fest. Reggie Q. Brown. My goodness. That's a meal for kings and queens. An excellent promo. Waiting on that new intro. Okay. Thank y'all so much for leaving that. I appreciate all the comments. Lizzie Hatch, love it. Cooking and seafood boy. I do mine the same way. Okay, I want to see it. Thank y'all so much. I love getting comments. For the longest time, I didn't get hardly any. So forgive me, honey, if I just sit through here and gaze at them because it's a lot of them. Thank y'all. <laughs> Takes time. Sky Ray eats. Hey, mama. Looks delicious. Sis, I'm up for this seafood boy. You're doing an amazing, great video. I need some seafood now. Hey, Skyray, they have a good channel. Y'all check out Skyray Eats. It's her and her husband. She's they're very nice. They do. They're nice little couple. Live out by the lake. Yes, honey. Okay, okay. Thank y'all. Need a VR designs. Hey girl, design up something pretty for us. Cynthia Duncan, Philly Phil, you are making me want to do a seafood ball. Go ahead and do it. Oh. One more, guys, because Don Eats said, you are such a boat of life on YouTube. You can cook your butt off. I know your food is delicious. Thank you. You remind me of my neighbor who became family. You look like sisters. Oh, was she pretty? <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, that's enough. Thank y'all so much for I hope y'all listen to me read those. I really enjoy reading them. Okay, I read all of them. Thank you guys so much. I hope you all have subscribed to my channel. If this is your first time, make sure you like this video. Leave a comment. Hey, tell me it was your first comment. I'm going to read it, baby. <laughs> and then make sure that you share this video. Press that red subscribe button and turn on the post notifications. Why? So you can be one of the first to know whenever your girl drops another banger. I drop bangers over here, baby. Banger after banger. No, I try. I do my best. I hope y'all are enjoying it, okay? All right. As I always say, you never know what your girl's going to be doing, where I'll be, who I'll have on the show. You just never know. You might be on the show with me one day. I would love to have one of my subscribers on the show with me. But you do know one thing you can always count on. You're always welcome in Philly Phil's Kitchen. We're gonna be, what we going to be doing, y'all? We're cooking in the kitchen. See y'all later. <laughs>